Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, the Dutch artist, and in this video, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to work in Toon Squid using the shapes. So this is the animations we're going to do, and in this video, I'm just going to explain how you can make an animation like this using the properties in the timeline. What I'm first going to do is open up a new file or create a new file by going to the plus sign in the upper right corner. Then I'm just going to name it shapes and it's set to 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second and then tap create. Now your work file is open and underneath is the timeline. There's still nothing in here. What I'm first going to do is create some shapes and you can create the shapes when you tap on this icon and then you have the shapes you want. When you tap on a shape, it will take the color that was selected before, but you can change it. And I'm just going to make this a light blue and you can also transform the shape. On top you see uh, snapping uniform and I just want to have it uh, more white and now it's just transforming it with the uniform but I need freeform so tap on freeform and then you can change the shape. What I'm going to animate is the sun that's setting and in front of the sky there will be water. I'm gonna create a new symbol and I need a circle for the sun. I'm gonna change the color and I also need another shape for the waves. Gonna take the square, change the color, and just gonna set it like this. Now I have assembled all the symbols I need to make the animation. When you check the layers, you see that each shape has its own layer and underneath you can animate it, but it now just only has one frame. When you press on this handle, you can make the timeline bigger. I'm just going to make it four seconds or something. When you let go, it's really zoomed out, but you can also zoom it in or zoom it out by just pinching. And then you see the seconds. I'm just going to make it three seconds. And you can scroll through the timeline by just scrolling with your Apple Pencil or your finger or press on these arrows and then it, you will go straight to the first frame. For each symbol, you can animate it separately. So what I first need is the sun to uh, go down. So the first frame needs to be around here and I've now set it to snapping. So then you can have a perfect middle. So this is the perfect middle. You can see it by the guides. And this is frame one and I'm going to press the keyframe and now you can see all the keyframes in Toon Squid and what you can do with it. So you can change the position, rotation, scale it, uh, change the opacity, control points, fill color, stroke color, stroke width, start trim and end trim. But I'm just going to use position and 
I'm going to go to the end of the animation, so at three seconds, and I'm going to change the position of the sun. And when you now play the animation, you've created an animation of the sun going down. And, you know, this is a fairly simple animation, but you also can change the color of the sun. Because when it goes down, it will change color, it becomes a little bit more orange. So I'm going to change the color of the sun to a more orange. And when you now play the animation, you can see that the color is changing. But I also need to change the sky. So I have to go to the first frame and then to the last frame. And it's going to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to change the color of the sky to a darker blue. And I'm going to do the same thing for the water. Change the color to a darker color. What you also can do in the timeline, I'm just going to select the sun. When you press on the keyframe and the only keyframe that is changing is the uh, position, just select it and then press on this icon and there it can ease in the curves. So I'm going to change it to quadratic and there's several options to do it and here you see just a, a sample of what the animation will be doing. And I'm just going to use this and I'm going to ease out the sun. And you can also change the intensity. So now it's changed a little bit. What I want to change is the, the water and that you can see some waves. But, you know, when you already have done an animation on an object, you cannot change it. So I'm just going to deselect this layer and I'm going to make a new layer on the timeline on the first keyframe. So I'm going to make a new symbol. I'm going to change this shape by just adding some vector points. Just going to zoom in. So here's a vector point. And now you have the Bourget curves. Just going to add three points. And these points you can animate in the timeline. So it's now set to the first frame. I'm just going to go to one second and just change the Berger curves. Um, two seconds. and on three seconds and change them again. And in this way you can make an animation, a simple animation of the sun going down using uh, the basic shapes in ToonSquid. If you want me to do more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below.